G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and our Farming Simulator 22 how-to videos. Today we're going to be talking about the construction menu and we're going to be talking about the decorations tab particularly. So let's head into the menu and have a bit of a look-see. So to get to the construction tab, we go through the this store, which is by clicking or pressing P for PC and Mac. Uh, the controls will be slightly different for obviously the consoles, um, but you will have the same options available. So we're going to construction, and then, as we've said previously on other how-to videos, we have five tabs at the top, buildings, production, animals, decoration, and landscaping. And then each of those then have subcategories underneath. Today, we're going to go to decoration, and the options under decoration are fences, lights, and others. So let's have a look and see exactly what we've got uh, for us here. So there's a whole pile of fences. So we're going to have a look at all these. We're going to put them all down and see what they look like. So let's uh, go and have a look. Now, very, very simple. They've done a really good job of doing the fences. I think giants have. So we can go along through there and put that first fence down. Like that. Now, you'll notice that when we do put it and section a fence down, and we press click, it doesn't remove the fence. It just keeps it attached, but it means we can actually change the angle of approach or anything else like that. Um, I can also then click across and it'll join the other fence. So it will actually... Um, Click to the to the other posts, so we can actually join up the fences really, really easily. Uh, it will it will conform to the terrain uh, and all that sort of stuff. So what we'll do quickly is I'll just put in a um, little bit of a rise here, a little bit bigger rise. Now it won't conform to really severe areas, but generally it will follow the terrain. Okay, as you can see here. It's followed that train nicely. See? Excellent job. Well done, Giants. Like the tool set already. Okay? Um, there we go, like that. And then I can join it in there like that. Excellent. There you go. So you notice that if you can't join it to a particular area, it will go red, so I can't go through the fence. I can join it to the fence on the post, but I can't go through. Okay? Uh, the fidelity and the f how fine you can get it is, is quite good. Like, it's not going to give you any errors like if I come out uh, go along here further I can put quite a narrow segregation on that and it doesn't actually cause any problems so that's quite good as well I like that all right anyway so that is our um, standard fence we then have our gate now the gate is done a little bit differently so we can put the gate down we get one post and then we'll bring the gate in and then we rotate around the first post. This is how you determine where your gate is going to open. So obviously it's showing where the gate is going to open to. So if you want the gate to be opening inwards, you need this to be facing inwards to your um, property or whatever else. Now, what I have found is if you go and place it on the fences existing, sometimes you'll find that you've put on the wrong side or you haven't got enough gap. So, or say, for instance, I want to put a gate in here. Oh, and I can select my gate. I'll put the gate in here. Uh, oh, it's the wrong way around. I want to go the other side. Well, sometimes yeah, you've got the other post there to do that, but other times if you don't, it's just a matter of quite simply placing the gate first. So what I will do is I'll use the demolish. Now, the demolish tool, as we digress here slightly, will select individual panels and delete them. It won't do the whole thing. It just does individual panels. Now, you can hold that down. And go like that okay but it won't actually delete full panels so what you place is not what it deletes it deletes the individual panel which is which i think is great so what i would normally do is i would normally grab my gate place my gate how i want okay i want it to face the other way so i'd break that go back the other way there we go that's roughly where i want it excellent i then come back and get my fence and i'd link them in like this and there we go so it's seamless then and that works fine okay all right, so that was our gate. We then have uh, a, another gate. This is a bigger gate, as you can see. So we have the bigger gate as well. And then we move on to a different fence. And this is, this is where we've got some wonderful options available to us from Giants. Um, I think they've done a fantastic job with all the options we have. Um, and I do kudos to them. I think this um, is fantastic. And I mean, it... It makes a difference. I mean, I certainly have enjoyed doing my Elm Creek map 
using the fences. I've used the white picket ones, and there's plenty of fences to choose from. Um, we'll go through and we'll put some of these down. I'm not going to put all... Oh, actually, no, I will. I'll put all the gates down as well. There we go. All right. Then we'll go and have a closer look at them. So we'll just put the mount there like that. But as you can see, they give lots of variations. So you can have your own style. And you can do exactly what you want to do with it on your own. It's And it's just giving that extra flexibility, just making it so you can personalize your farm. And I think that is a fantastic um, thing to be done by giants. Right, we've got a fence here. That. I want to hear that. There we go. As you can see, we've got a huge array of options. That's wonderful. I mean, the fact that there's so many options. Oh, that's a gate. Hang on. I'll put that gate in here. There we go. Fence. Um, just the fact we've got so many options is just tremendous. I really think that's great. All the different styles we've got. Okay. Another fence here. Like I said, we're going to have a look at these up close and personal. I'm going to put this one here. Go there. Go there. But I think I think the options that they've given us is is nothing short of sublime. I mean, all the faults that I've I've always picked with giants. One fault I'm not going to pick with them in FS22 is the options they've given us for decorations. I think they've done a, a tremendous job and they've given us plenty um, of decorate, decorative type stuff to do. I'm going to start going back the other way now. There go there. I do like this fence too. See, we've got so many options. It's not funny. I haven't got to the end of them yet. No offense here. All right. And then we have, lastly, we have our edges. Yeah. There we go. That's all the options. Now, what I wanted to show you, though, is... So, for instance, if I were to... Um, I mean, I think this... Uh, it's not those ones. They have a different type of mechanism. So, the, these um, these units up here have a slightly different way of, of putting your heads down. As you can see, it um, gives you a different paint tool. Whereas these fences... I uh, thought I could get this to there. No, it's not going to link in. So it only does it. I thought it actually linked in with the other type. So it will only link in with the same type of fence to actually bind in. So it won't click in, but it will click in there, for instance, right? But I can't click it in and hook up with this. But the like-minded fence or the same style of fence will click in. There you go. All right. So that's all the decoration for the fences. So let's go and have a quick look at them before we move on to the lights or anything. As you can see, these are all the fences up here. And look at them. Look at the detail in them. I think these are fantastic. Gates open. Some nice sounds with the gates too. There's our fencing. It just has a fantastic look, like I said. Here's our white fence. Here's our hedges. Three different hype. Three different types of or heights of hedge. Have our construction fence. Which is excellent. Happy with that. Not quite a 
aligned on that one. Oh no, they are they're on that on that edge there. That's okay. That's basically um I guess that's meant to be like an electric fence. I think. Possibly. Anyway. Um well barrier ones there, these are like an animal pen. I like this fence too here. This is a nice one. Come over here. It's just it's just nice. I mean it's just that attention to detail. I love it. I really do. Here's our uh, little brick pillar and wooden fence. Low profile, nice. Over through here. Standard picket fence. We have this old rustic rustic fence with the moss all over it. Look at the moss and everything on it. Again, looks great. I know I'm gushing over the fences. I know. Chicken wire fence. Fence through there. This fence here with the hedge through it looks wonderful. The big iron frontal gates. Have a nice big uh, homestead with a nice big fence running down the side of the uh, the driveway down into the into the ranch or to the farm. There you go. Nice decorative fences. Well, yep. and then these ones in here. There you go. There you go. So that's all the fences. I think that's fantastic. Thank you, Giants. I think you've done a really, really good job of that. All right. So that's the fences done. Let's have a look and see what else we've got. So we go back in the menu, go back into construction, decoration, and then we have the lights. Now, the lights we're going to have to do at night, really, but um, I will just put them down and show you the variation of lights we have. Um, they will go for various amount of light, depending upon... Um, the the light itself all right so we got that one now some of these are very big i'm just going to place them all down and we're going to have a look at them i mean you can see yourself uh what the lighting is like in game i'm not going to bother about fast forwarding to night time and doing all that because um i don't see the point but anyway there we go so we have the street light, which is down here, the double street lantern, the single street lantern. We then have a path light. That's your low profile one there. Then have the street lamp. Then we have the big ones. We have the lights for the MCG, the Melbourne Cricket Ground, the big sporting lights. These throw off a hell of a lot of light. You then have a medium flood light, which is dual side, so it's on both sides of the, the light. We then have a small flood light, uh, which is... What I tend to go for mostly for my farms at the moment because it does give it a good amount of light and it, you can um, control where the, where the flood is going to. Uh, a quadruple floodlight, so basically just gives lighting around the all four areas, gives a full coverage. And then lastly, the single floodlight, um, which is good for a small, and it covers a short area, but it's a nice bit of bright lighting there. All right, and that's it for the lighting. So what's next in the others? So we have some garden sheds. So we're just going to put some garden sheds down. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them over here. So I'm just going to put the garden sheds down. They don't serve any purpose other than just decoration. I'm just going to put them down just so you can have a look at them. And a little garage shed there. And there we go. All right. Let's have a look at them. Well, it's all the way up the other end. You can see how big those lights are. Look at that. So this is the standard lights. Right, then you have the big floodlight. Awesome. All right, here's our garage sheds. All right, they don't open or interact or anything, just purely decoration. But you've got some nice little sheds there to, to put in the garden or whatever else for your farm. So that's it. So that is the how-to with the construction mode for our decorations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, kudos to Giants for the level of detail that they've put in and given us in relation to fences and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm actually overjoyed with the amount of detail they've given us and uh, you'll certainly see this stuff utilised on my playthroughs and things like that. Um, but anyway, that's it. If you like the episode, press that like button. Make sure you press that subscribe button as well if you're not already subscribed to the channel. We would appreciate it. 
And if you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware when more how-to videos and other videos are available on the channel. But until next time, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solid Gaming and Farming Simulator 22. See you later. Bye.